Auto shops crowd the corner of University Avenue and 39th Street in City Heights. But if you turn down the alley behind a Valvoline oil change, you'll find a once abandoned lot blooming with life. The Revolutionary Growers Garden is run by the local Black Panther Party. We just planted some potatoes and they started sprouting and they look real nice and flowers and squash and... That's Gardener Day's dream. They're non-binary and have chosen that name. This garden has absolutely transformed my relationship with the earth in like the most beautiful way. Community members care for the garden together and teach each other. Sometimes I come here and then I learn something and then like 20 minutes later someone asks me a question and it's the same thing that I just learned so I told them what I just learned. <laughs> so it's like we're really just like trading information all the time. They eat what they grow and say it tastes better than grocery store produce. It doesn't travel by truck or sit in a refrigerator. Often it's straight from the ground to their mouths. We had like a watermelon growing and we cut it open. We were so excited. We shared it with everyone. We just like slurped that up and it was so good. <laughs> if there is more than we can take home, then we just knock on the neighbor's doors. And <laughs> we just like, hey, do you want any squash or tomatoes? Dream imagines this knowledge spreading. Like it would be so beautiful if, if we had this garden, not just on every not just in every like city, but like on every block, you know, like and to feed the community in that block. We're only using party members chosen names in the story because they're concerned about being targeted by law enforcement. They say knowing how to grow your own food is vital for neighborhoods like City Heights that are expected to be overburdened by climate change. Fiel, another gardener and a Black Panther Party member, explains. As climate change progresses, its fruits and vegetables are going to become more expensive because especially in California, in Southern California, <laughs> they need more water and we're just not gonna have it. She says she can get a couple weeks of produce from the garden's harvest, saving her money at the grocery store. Gardening, she says, is- Protecting your right to have a healthy diet. <laughs> the garden builds the neighborhood's resilience to climate change in other ways too. The plants absorb sun, helping lower temperatures that are commonly higher in lower income communities of color like City Heights that have fewer trees and more asphalt. And unlike asphalt, the soil retains water and reduces runoff which may become increasingly necessary as San Diego experiences unusually heavy rains. And Fiel says, working together in a garden helps build trust between neighbors. If you're constantly feeling like you're in competition with your neighbors or you have to defend yourself against people who live down the street from you, it doesn't enhance your quality of life. And the gardeners are not just making the neighborhood more resilient. They're healing this plot of earth and changing how they relate to the rest of it. Um, so even though we have some really huge spiders and they're really scary, they're also very important to the garden. So you have to leave them alone <laughs> and let them do their thing. Um, so it teaches a lot of respect. They grow a variety of crops in each bed, unlike most big farms that grow one crop and deplete the soil. They avoid tilling, which releases carbon into the atmosphere. They compost and make natural insect repellents instead of using synthetic fertilizers and pesticides. These practices contrast with large-scale food production, which is estimated to create a quarter of global carbon emissions. Coyote, a Panther Party member and gardener, says he's noticed the garden becoming less predictable. There's less kind of stability, and I think that's what you notice the most. Um, yeah, I can't ever be like, well, last year in January, this happened. It's like, well, every January is a new January. He says this garden alone won't fix the climate crisis, but it's something most people can do. This isn't gonna be the thing that does it, right? This is one small part, but it is a small part that you can engage in. The gardeners invite anyone to come learn how to plant seeds and grow a movement on their own block. Katie Heisen, KPBS News.